Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I am behind. We had planned to do a video together, but it didn't happen. So I need to catch up today. I have Liquid Popsicle, the Sweet Red Rubylicious. Last week I had Grapefruit Licious, Grapefruit something, something, something. And today we have Liquid Popsicle Sweet Ruby Licious. I guess Liquid Popsicle is the brand. Um, did not know this came in several flavors. I only seen two at the Total Wines and More that I went to. As you guys know, that is my go-to spot for wines because they have such a wide selection. I don't have to go here, go there, blah, blah, blah. And I believe I paid eight or nine dollars for this i'll leave the price up somewhere up here this is a sweet red wine and there's a sweet red wine fun times to be had here like when you taste it your first popsicle this lovely sweet red wine is sure to delight it has a soft fruity it has soft fruity aromas and a deep red color with a pronounced sweet finish enjoy slightly chill with friends and let the good times Row. So the packaging is pretty simple. I seen this months ago, but I kind of passed on it. And like I said in the previous video, um, I went to the store thinking about doing the Stella Rose. See, I was gonna say Stella Rosa during the Stella Rose um, month. But I got in and I seen so many wines that looked interesting. So I said, forget it. I'll just do that next time or whenever. And this one caught my eye. Now I went online looking for the actual brand and like I just said Liquid Popsicle seems to be the actual brand. There is a Sweet Red which is this one. There's a Strawberry, a Cream, Orange Cream Sickle, a Cherry, a Sweet Red Blend. That's kind of weird. It's two Sweet Reds it looks like. And there's also a lemon lime. I did pick up a new um, opener because who not about to go here and there trying to open up this wine. Also, this is 13% alcohol by volume. Pregnant women shouldn't drink, yada, yada, yada. Let's open this up. But this one, I really like this one. It's sleek, very sleek. And it just came on out with ease. Good old ease. So this doesn't taste like a popsicle. It doesn't remind me of a popsicle. It doesn't remind me of an adult popsicle. It just tastes like legit standard red wine. 13%, I guess that's not, I mean, I think I've seen higher percentage uh, red wines. This isn't bad. I would get it again, but it's not like I'm gonna tell my friends about it. Like, hey, try this liquid popsicle sweet red wine it tastes different it got a little you know different flavor to it. it it doesn't like it really doesn't so this is gonna be a very short review it's worth the try i mean it's only like eight or nine dollars other than that it's literally a standard red wine no senses are going to no popsicle. I, it's legit just a standard red wine. So maybe that's why the influencer D Lolo said that the lemon lime was cool because it's it's just okay. Like I haven't tasted that flavor. I want to taste it, but this red, sweet red ruby licious, it's just a standard red wine. very sweet um if you like very sweet wines i would try this one if you like sweet red wines try this one like i'm looking at some of the reviews just to get like uh a sense of what other people are feeling about this wine because i definitely had higher hopes for this wine i really did that's why i wanted to taste this with my cousins like it was gonna be like a cousin's type of day and i'm like okay we can introduce this to my channel liquid popsicle is gonna be hidden it's gonna be different and it's just very basic and somebody else in the comments said not what i expected especially with the name popsicle 
this wine is very sweet but dry and i agree with that it's very sweet but it's it's nothing spectacular about this wine it's good i would get it again yes is it popsicle-esque no um a sweet red wine very basic very good very sweet eight dollars cheap find it at total wines and more probably can find it at walmart probably can find it at cvs but if you find it at cvs you're going to be taxing because cvs likes to tax okay like ten dollars more than anybody else which i don't get what cvs is doing i don't understand it but it's not for me to understand um somebody else said yummy so glad i bought it we'll purchase again soon great wine not too sweet we'll buy again reminded me of cold popsicles in summer not for me i don't no i'm not getting no popsicle vibes at all every time i go i buy two bottles this is sweet way too sweet for a regular wine drinker this could be the could be a dessert wine if you like your teeth to ache my teeth not aching it's very sweet it is like <laughs> like that type of sweet just a little bit just a little bit but i can definitely see this as a it's a dessert wine but other than that this is cool i'm gonna go ahead and put the cork back on matter of fact i got i bought wine stoppers too so i do but this was cool i like it so far as i drink it it's cool yada yada that's that um, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for next week's The Sip review, which will probably go ahead and end up happening in the same week since I'm behind. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you already are not subscribed. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you are notified when I upload a video. Try this if you like. If you already have a sweet red wine that you are in love with, no need to try this one because it's honestly basic but good basic but good <laughs>